Hi, I'm Leslie Greening and in this video I'd like to bring to you um, a problem that I found out today when I was using Microsoft Project. I adopted a project plan from someone and it was just a summary of a master plan and when I looked the Gantt timeline didn't match up with the times and the dates in the task columns and it was out by a year and even the date the current date line that was in the Gantt chart was out by a year. We started checking various things and then I found out what the problem was. The schedule table in options there's um, a selection there that you can click on uh, which is the about the fiscal year starting a certain date as you can see um, in this diagram here, in this extract from Microsoft Project. Now I have always kept this as January um, because most of the Gantt chart uh, views have always been for project managers, um, not so much finance. If it's finance, then it's normally extracted into Excel and we do different reports for the financial side. So we've never really looked at fiscal for using Microsoft Project. So if you look underneath, the, if you select a different date, when I looked at the summary schedule that I'd acquired, it had got April. So underneath it had selected, it's got a tick box and I've never seen that before. And the reason why is that if it's selected January, it's all greyed out. So I just couldn't understand why I'd never seen it before. And then if you click on any other date, then it will then highlight this box. And as you can see, it says use starting year for financial numbering or financial year numbering. By clicking this, it will actually move your project back to the dates it should be, which is in line with your task dates. So anyway, that solved the problem. So it's just something that you need to watch out for. Again, if you like this video or found it useful, then please click like and subscribe. And for notifications, please click the bell. Thanks very much. Until the next time.